ever started keto and got a few days or maybe a few weeks in and you've just felt like your energy was on the floor and you've thought, this isn't working for me. Well, you're not alone. Most people hit this wall in the first few weeks and then they give up. It happened to me and it happened to me a few times before I finally figured it out. Same with fasting. You know, it's just, if you are not fat adapted, fat adapted, what does that even mean? It's really, really hard. But I've just made the connection as to why and it finally makes sense. So I've been reading Dark Calories, Dr. Kate Shanahan's brilliant book, and it explained something to me that I'd never properly joined the dots up on before. So for years, our bodies have been storing polyunsaturated fats from seed oils and processed and ultra-processed foods. Polyunsaturated fats, that's the poofers. This was me and my diet for years. I ate biscuits and cakes and chocolate, and crisps and chips and I ate fried food for years without realizing and I thought I was healthy. And then when you cut out the sugars and you start burning fat for, your, for fuel, those old fats are the first thing to be released because the body wants rid of them. They're, they're in the very fabric of our cells. So here's the catch. Those fats are terrible for energy. Compared to clean saturated fat, they deliver 30 to 60% less energy. So your mitochondria are burning, but it's low grade fuel. And it's like running your car, literally on watered down petrol. No wonder you feel so flat. And all this time we've been blaming the sugar entirely when it's those plant oils, which have actually been doing even more damage. This doesn't mean you can't fat adapt. It just means your body's got to clear out that junk first. And the way through this is patience and sometimes a little support. Adding in higher octane fats like butter, MCT oil, some tallow, that can give you a quick lift so you don't give up before your body gets to the good stuff. And yes, it might slow your fat loss slightly in the short term, but it keeps you going long enough to hit a breakthrough point when your body will start burning through the, the rest of your fat stores and then getting to the clean fat and then the energy is gonna come roaring back. So if you're in that keto slump, don't panic. You haven't failed. You're just burning off bad fuel. Thanks to dark calories, I finally understand why we feel so bleh at the start and why the solution is simply to ride it out and keep going.